Hello everybody, Frida Stauffer here. I want to show you a, give you a little tour of our stockpile. We have, uh, this old fridge is a pan, is my pantry. I have some uh, oranges, some cat food in there, a lot of potatoes down there at the bottom and some onions and some lemons and garlic. Honey, ketchup, hot sauce a lot of different things um, are going to keep us through this hard time now. There's some sugar-free caramel sauce, some marinara, some other, some tomato paste and other sauces. I like those, the, that box of garlic and lemons and the potatoes and onions at the bottom. And then here on the door of this pantry fridge, we have um, coconut milk, cream of coconut, condensed, sweet and condensed coconut milk, a um, couple of fruit cups. Um, that's non-food items down there. Laundry detergent, batteries, Flour, another box of macaroni, more fruit for the children, more fruit, some sugar, some date syrup, some whole dry milk. That, that large canister was 40, over $40 each. I got two of those from one of the Arabic markets. I had this large thing of um, pancake mix, some um, what are those? Uh, those animals. A lot of frozen vegetables and tater tots down there. Yeah, tater tots down there at the bottom, and then some vegetables there. Some um, ravioli. And Tilapia, all these things are feeding, are going for feeding a family of six. Um, green beans, peppers and onions, kale, chopped kale, um, cauliflower pizza crust for me, some other vegetables there, some hash browns. This is, this is just how it is. It's just um, there. And this is coconut sugar. I keep it in the freezer so it doesn't turn rancid because I don't use it that fast. Broccoli, chia seeds, coffee, walnuts, uh, maple sugar, Quinoa. I keep these things in the freezer so they don't turn rancid. And then there's pumpkin seeds, coconut, some brown flax seeds that's the back of the bag. Green beans, corn, ginger root in here. A ginger root can last forever in the freezer. Some fries in the door, and there's some I think that's almond flour down there. No, garbanzo bean flour. Kids, stop fighting. This is kefir cheese uh, with uh, good probiotics for the family. Some energy bites for the kids to snack on whenever they're hungry. I made those a few days ago. They have peanut butter, honey, uh, vanilla chips, and oatmeal, and a lot, uh, flax seeds and chia seeds in them. Uh, yogurt, <coughs> orange juice, milk. Oh, we don't care about Eggs everywhere. Um, <laughs> liquid egg whites, fat free, half and half. Sugar free syrup. Some uh, cheap lemon juice for cleaning. <laughs> Lots of yogurt and um, cottage cheese and different things. 
some uh, spinach in a, um, not eggs, spinach for my, I put it in my eggs in the morning, and uh, strawberries and lots of canned biscuits because the kids eat, it, eat those. And then there's a lot of cheese in the bottom and tomatoes. Um, you buy these big two pound bags from Walmart of cheese, that's mozzarella. And there's another bag here of uh, Monterey Jack also. That lasts us a month, that cheese. And then we also get these family packs of sliced cheese um, to last a month. <clears throat> that pot there has homemade yogurt, so we have a lot of yogurt. These buckets in the corner have corn meal and flour and and different things for baking and cooking and I store it in these buckets and that bucket there has rice in it. Here's my air fryer and my instant pot. <laughs> Here are all my cookbooks I buy from the Dollar Tree. I hold in things, uh, some oatmeal boxes, some, oh excuse me my son's called. All right, there are some packs of uh, panko, four of them in that box. And there's some noodles and a lot of food in the house. We got uh, a box of raisins because my husband likes raisins mixed with his rice sometimes. And then we have all these bags of rice, three of them. Sugar, a lot of sugar, Morena sh cane sugar from the Dollar Tree, which is the cheapest place to get it. It's two pounds for a dollar. And then here is uh, vermicelli. I toast that a little and mix it with the rice sometimes. I have uh, split yellow peas. And these uh, mung beans go with rice sometimes, chickpeas for protein. Some more split yellow peas, some, a lot of white beans, and some more mung beans. It's really disorganized. I'm, uh, I just can't do all this. With my hernia, I just uh, put things, let my husband put things and my kids put things in here how they wanted. So that box is full of canned groceries and box groceries, stuffing mix and pasta and different things, uh, brownie mix and um, underneath the bed is all um, stocked. There's a, there are cans of marinara, jars of marinara I mean, and uh, jelly, grape jelly there, some salsa, uh, red lentils. Under the bed is all stuffed full. There's some um, uh, Idahoan potatoes, mashed potatoes, some Clancy's pretzels, peanut butter, salt, some more dry beans and popcorn and things, chickpeas and, and uh, white beans. There's a can of There's a can of black eyed peas. So underneath the bed is very highly stuffed of food. More food. The kids like these noodles sometimes. They're like uh, ramen noodles. And we buy, buy them by the case from the halal market. And there's some tea biscuits. My kids are fans of those and their dad is There's too. another box of stash stockpile things. Um, oil, potatoes, canned uh, goods. In the closet, we have coffee, some more dry beans in that jar, uh, tea, another can of dry milk back there in the corner, and some more coffee. We don't want to run out of 
coffee in. Now this freezer is full to the brim. Excuse me, son, not yet. In a minute. This is my corned beef, my uh, net carb bread. It's stuffed full of bread, tilapia, chicken. There's a lot of chicken down there. So a lot of uh, pita bread, flat bread, Arabic style. Frozen green okra for okra food. Some other meats. Um, some sausages that I use for seasoning. Lamb. Um, chicken. Ramen. Soft pretzels. Even some tofu. <laughs> so, uh, in the bottom there's loaves of bread. And I'm not going to dig all that out right now. But I, you get the idea. We're, this is how we stocked to keep our uh, kids fed during this cr time of cr quarantine and crisis. So thank you everybody for watching. Have a calm and peaceful quarantine. And I know my, uh, my things are disorganized, but you got to see what I what we have and and you can probably see what we expect to eat <laughs> plan to eat so enjoy your quarantine enjoy some peace and calm bye bye